2019 has officially come to an end and not only is 2020 bringing us a new year, but we are entering into a new decade. Which is really exciting, but I am sure we can all say that 2019 brought us both ups and downs as life normally does. But for some actors the last decade happened to be an end to their career and we are going to take a look at some of them in today's countdown list. I'm your host Joss Bedard, welcome back to top 10 beyond the screen. You can hang out with us outside of YouTube, our Instagram links are down below and stick around to the end so you don't miss out on our common features. But let's jump in, here is our top 10 list of actors who destroyed their careers the last decade. Beginning the countdown list at number 10 is Charlie Sheen. Between his struggle with drugs, violent behavior and overdoses, his career technically should have ended two decades ago. He was once the highest paid actor making $1.8 million an episode for his role on Two and a Half Men. He was on the show from 2003 to 2011 and many would say that he was basically the face of the entire franchise. But in 2011 he lost it all when he was fired from the show for his erratic behavior and feud with the creator Chuck Lorre. Warner Brothers released a statement saying he was fired due to his, I quote, dangerously self-destructive conduct. And since then, it's just been a downward spiral ever since. His IMDb resume is pretty bare, and he is still recovering from years of substance abuse, which he has recently been open about and says that he is currently sober. So he might be able to turn it around? Not really sure. Next up at number 9 is Thomas Gibson, known for being a longtime star on CBS's hit show Criminal Minds. He took on the role of Aaron Hotchner from 2005 to 2016, and it probably would have been longer than that if he didn't get himself fired. He was axed from the show in August 2016 after he got into an altercation with one of the show's executive producers. But his termination was a long time coming. CBS had issues with him in the past, all related to his anger. In 2010, he was ordered to take anger management classes after a allegedly punching an assistant director in the face. So when he got into an argument on set and kicked a producer, it was basically a last straw. They sent him home immediately that day and originally just gave him a two week suspension, which later turned into a permanent termination. Taking on the number 8 spot is Lori Loughlin. The actress was just one of many parents who got caught in a nationwide college admission scandal in 2019, but her consequence was losing her entire career. The scandal was known as Operation Varsity Blues. People would pay a scam mastermind named William Singer. Lori was accused of paying $500,000 to get her daughters Olivia and Isabella into the University of Southern California as crew recruits, even though they never participated in the rowing sport before. The the actress immediately lost everything. She was fired from the Hallmark Channel and from Netflix, which are both networks that held her entire career. She reprised her iconic role as Aunt Becky for the hit Netflix TV series Fuller House and was also working on a Hallmark series called When Calls the Heart. She lost both and we haven't seen her in anything ever since. Sliding into number 7 is Disney star Orlando Brown, who made a name for himself first time on That's So Raven. Throughout the years we've seen some of our favorite Disney stars go off the deep end once they leave the network, but I don't think any of us expected it from Orlando. In the last decade he had troubles with the law and got arrested on multiple different occasions. He was first arrested in 2016 and charged with misdemeanor, domestic battery, obstruction of justice and drug possession with intent to sell. Then later in January 2018 he was arrested again and charged with battery resisting a police officer and possession of controlled substance. He had a total of four different arrests throughout 2018 and one of them was caught on tape when bounty hunters busted into a house and arrested him in his underwear. He was sentenced to 45 days in jail and ended up getting released on October 1st, 2019. This is what Disney does to you guys. Well, Disney and drugs. Probably the drugs more than the Disney. Moving on to number 6, we have Jeffrey Jones. He first rose to fame in the 80s when he played the principal in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. From there he had a successful acting career which first took a big hit back in November of 2002. He was arrested on suspicion that he hired a 14 year old boy to pose for inappropriate pictures. He pleaded no contest and didn't receive any jail time but he did get 5 years probation and was ordered to register as a sex offender. Surprisingly, he was able to have an acting career after all of that. He starred in the HBO show Deadwood for a few years and booked some smaller movie roles. But in 2010 his career came to an official end after he got arrested for failing to update his California sex offender status. It is something that all offenders are required to do each year. He received 3 more years of probation plus 250 hours of community service, which is probably the most work he's done in years. No offense man. Actually I don't even care if you're offended. You're a pervert. 
At way through at number five is Jason Mitchell. The up and coming actor lost everything after being accused of inappropriate behavior with women. The 32 year old is best known for playing Easy E in the 2015 movie Straight Out of Compton. But in 2019, female co stars came forward and accused him of sexual harassment, even Tiffany Boone, who played his on screen girlfriend. Because of the harassment, she actually asked production to release her from her contract so that she could pursue other opportunities. As for Jason, he was fired from the third season of Showtime series called The Chai and was also let go by Netflix for his role on Desperados. It was later announced that he was dropped by his manager and agent as well. At number three, we have Danny Mathers. She is known for starring on the TV series like Badass and The Bold and the Beautiful, but she's mainly known for her work as a Playboy model. But both sides to her career came to an end in 2016 after she posted an image of a naked 70 year old woman at the gym with the caption, If I can't unsee this, then you can't either. The image immediately got backlash and it resulted in her facing criminal charges. She was fired from a radio show and banned from LA fitness gyms across the US. People were outraged that she would body shame someone like that, especially to an audience as big as hers. Like millions of people saw this woman naked. Later in 2017, she faced the court and pleaded no contest to a charge of invading the woman's privacy. She was fined $1,000 in order to spend a month of doing community service and removing graffiti around. In Los Angeles. Earning the number one spot on our list is Kevin Spacey. He was starring on the Netflix hit series House of Cards when his career suddenly came to an end after BuzzFeed published an article about him. In October 2017, an allegation made headlines from the actor Anthony Rapp, who claimed that Spacey made a sexual advance towards him when he was just 14 years old. And since then, more than 30 people have come forward with allegations, ranging from harassment to attempted. Netflix fired him immediately and he also lost his agent and publicist. In December 2018, he was charged with a felony for allegedly sexually assaulting a journalist's 18 year old son. He pleaded not guilty in January 2019 and the charges were dismissed after a lack of evidence and proof of deleted text messages. His last case was officially closed by the end of 2019 when charges were dropped after one woman died from cancer and another one of his victims committed suicide. It was reported that he he paid no money to settle the lawsuit. Starting off this countdown at number 10 is Amber Heard. The actress was married to iconic actor Johnny Depp, but filed for divorce in May 2016 and showed up to the Los Angeles courthouse with a bruised face. She claimed that he threw a cell phone at her face and trashed their apartment and a restraining order was placed on him. Since then, it has been this big ongoing lawsuit between the two of them. She claims he is a monster who abused her and threatened to kill her and he says that she's making all of it up to ruin his career and get a hefty paycheck. He filed for a $50 million defamation lawsuit against her, revealing surveillance video that proves her face was not bruised after their alleged fight that day when she went to court. Realistically, we don't know the truth, only they do, but fans have turned against Amber now since the evidence has shown that she made that story up. The two of them will hash it out in court starting August 3rd, 2020. Slide dates number nine is Columbus Short. The actor took on the role of Harrison in the hit TV series Scandal from 2012 to 2014. His career was at its ultimate high during his years on the show, but it was taken from him when he ended up in a domestic violence dispute with his wife. It resulted with him being fired immediately and his character was killed off the show. His wife claimed that he hit her during an argument and he was sentenced to 36 months probation and he had to register for domestic violence education because he was already on probation for a bar fight that happened earlier that year. He was also sentenced to one year in jail but left after serving just 34 days due to overcrowding. Despite the fact that he got out from behind bars, his career has just never been the same. Talk about some luck. The jail being overcrowded so you get out. Cool. Next up in our number eight spot is Eddie Murphy, one of Hollywood's best comedic actors for many years, but he found himself in a scandal that was not so funny. Back in 1997, a news story broke that Eddie was being arrested for being involved with a prostitution scandal. On May 2nd, 1997, he was pulled over by police at 4.45 a.m. after they saw a transsexual prostitute get inside. However, he claimed that he thought the person was having trouble and simply offered them a ride. 
I don't know if I believe that. The scandal blew over and he continued to have a successful career, but in 2015 it all came back to haunt him. Turns out just one year after the car incident, the prostitute was dead in this mysterious circumstance and they actually started pinning Eddie as a possible suspect all those years later. News broke that Eddie's lawyer Marty Singer paid her $50,000 at the time to change her story for the tabloids. They even had the check and records to prove it. Obviously he was never connected to the murder, but his career has never fully recovered. I'm actually surprised that he's still booking all the roles that he has, if I'm being honest, because like, I don't know. That's pretty sketchy. <laughs> Moving on to number seven, we have Dane Cook. His career initially started with his talent in stand up comedy, but it also headed into the direction of acting. We have to admit that it was kind of weird seeing him in our movies all of a sudden. Unfortunately, his movies were all a flop, no offense, but it wasn't the bad reviews that destroyed his career, it was actually some inappropriate jokes. Back in 2012, during one of his stand up shows, he made jokes referring to the mass shooting that took place in Colorado. He later apologized for his comments, but people did not really accept accept his apology, and on top of all of that, he caused a lot of controversy for his relationship with a girl who is 26 years younger than he is. He was 47 years old at the time they started dating in 2017 and she was just 19 years old. So what is he up to these days? In 2019, he launched his new stand up tour called Tell It Like It Is, but it received a review that called it unusually awful. In spot number 6 is another actor and comedian, it is Jay Moore. Many people joke that they have to google who he is, so let me save you the time. He is a stand up comedian and known for his time on SNL and on TV series like Ghost Whisperer, Gary Unmarried and Suburgatory. But both sides of his career took a hit in 2014 after he made some fat shaming jokes against another female in the industry. The joke, if that's what you want to call it, was said when he was talking on his podcast and was talking about the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion. Champions Awards, which he hosted. One of the presenters at the award show was Alyssa Milano, and he decided to talk about her body, saying that she had a gut and forgot to wear Spanx. She responded with a tweet So sorry you felt the need to publicly fat shame me. Be well and God bless. Please send my love to your beautiful wife. Fans did not react as well as she did, and we haven't really seen much of him ever since. I don't mind. Who are you to comment about my gut and if I wore Spanx or not? Halfway through at number 5, we have Shannon Doherty. She was everywhere in the 90s, taking lead roles in Beverly Hills 90210 and Charmed. And then she reprised her role for the 90210 reboot in 2019, but got fired after getting into a physical altercation on set. The argument actually got her in trouble with the law. She got into a fight with her co-star Jenny Garth and she received a misdemeanor battery citation. For obvious reasons, she was fired from the show immediately, and only one month after the incident, she was involved in another court case where she was accused of owing the bank around $36,000. So it appeared that her reckless behavior wasn't just limited to her time on the TV series. She did appear in one episode on Riverdale after that, but things have been pretty quiet for her. Stealing number four spot on our countdown list is Mel Gibson. He was once one of the biggest stars in Hollywood and took home some of the biggest salaries. But a history of issues with alcohol eventually caught up to him. Everything kind of happened over the last two decades, if we're being honest, because he's just been involved in so many different scandals over the years, like getting arrested for a DUI, and that aggressive rant that was recorded at the time and leaked online, showing that he was making sexist and offensive comments. And then, four years later, it happened again and another recording of him appeared online, which included racist and threatening remarks against his ex-wife. His talent agency immediately dropped him and he hasn't been on the screen in a few years. He has turned to behind the camera work instead, like directing, but it's safe to say his reputation will always be destroyed, even if he can salvage like some sort of career. We have made it to number three and we have James Franco. A few events in the last decade had his very successful career come crashing down. It all began in 2014 when screenshots leaked online showing that he was talking to an underage girl who he knew was underage, trying to rent them a hotel room for the night. Somehow, his career managed to continue after the scandal faded out, but then everything was officially shut down in 2017 after he wore a Time's Up pin to the Golden Globes. Multiple women came forward making claims that his acting school sexually exploited them while they were students. In their suit, they said that he had his students perform explicit sex scenes on camera in exchange for promised roles in his future films. In 2018, he was accused of sexual misconduct by five different women and is now facing a lawsuit after being sued by his 
two students. Earning the second spot on our list is Kathy Griffin. The actress and comedian landed herself in a lot of trouble back in 2017 after posting an inappropriate picture online. She teamed up with famous photographer Tyler Shields to do a very controversial photo shoot of her holding a decapitated bloody head of Donald Trump. Of course it was just a mask but the image was so real and graphic that sites actually had to blur it and block it from their sites. When she first posted it to Twitter and saw people's horrified reactions, she began to tweet out that she went too far and will remove the picture. But months later, she took her apology back and told the Rolling Stone, I quote, I'm not sorry, I take the apology back 1000%. After that, she started to receive death threats and hate mail and was put on a no fly list after undergoing two months of federal investigation. She later put out a TV movie called A President Show Documentary, The Fall of Donald Trump. So it looks like she just doesn't know what to call it quits. She is still going with that joke. Here we are at number one and we have Bill Cosby. At one time he was known for his impressive work as an actor, but now he's just known for being the actor who had more than 50 people accuse him of sexual assault and misconduct. That has to be some kind of record, not one to brag about though. The allegations began back in 2014 when he was accused of sexual assault that took place in the mid 1960s. Since then, he's been accused by different women for drug facilitated sexual assault, sexual battery, child sexual and sexual misconduct. All of the alleged incidents span from 1965 to 2008. He battled the allegation in court for years, but on September 25th, 2018, he was sentenced to three to 10 years in state prison and fined $25,000 plus the cost of prosecution, which was $43,611. <laughs> to the dime. He is currently serving a sentence at a state prison near Philadelphia and apparently he just gets treated like any other prisoner. In other words, that means that no one cares that he was once a Hollywood actor. Starting off our countdown list at number 10 is Taylor Lautner. At just 17 years old, he made his big debut in the Twilight movie series and everyone was thinking he could be the next big star. He was a hot commodity at one point, being paid $7.5 million for his movie Northern Lights. But for some reason, his career started to just shift and not in a good way. After the Twilight series came to an end, it just seemed like he wasn't able to keep a solid career outside of that franchise. He was cast to take the lead in the 2011 movie Abduction, but it was a total flop. And when I say flop, I mean flop. It received a whopping 5% on Rotten Tomatoes and critics were not thrilled with his performance. Since 2012, he's had six credits to his name and we haven't seen him in anything since 2018 when he worked on a TV series called Cuckoo, whatever that is. So he didn't do anything intentionally to destroy his career. He just couldn't make it happen. It's a tough industry, man. Next up at number nine is Meg Ryan. She was one of the leading ladies in the 90s, earning the title of the rom-com queen for more than 10 years. But a lot of negative drama came from the affair that she had during her marriage with Dennis Quaid. Back in 2000, she had an affair with her Proof of Life co-star, Russell Crowe, and she faced a lot of ridicule for it. Some will say that that is what ended her career. But she herself says that her role in the movie In the Cut is what destroyed it. It was a racy erotic thriller with a hyper sexual plotline and she said that she was judged for it. But she has found other work since then. Her last role was actually in 2018. Nothing has ever put her back in the spotlight so it's hard to say what exactly was the moment that destroyed her career. I just think it is like a combination of things over the last two decades. She's been through like a lot of controversy. Coming in number eight is Nicolas Cage. The actor has had a very successful career, but in more recent years, his career has gone through a huge shift to a point where most of his movies are released on demand rather than in theaters. He hasn't been in any like wild scandals either. He's just done some really bad movies. For example, he was torn apart for his brutal performance in The Wicker Man. It has actually been like an ongoing joke for years and it received a 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. He spent the past several years doing low budget films and some occasional voice work. It was recently announced in November 2019 that he might be taking on the role of himself, Nicolas Cage, in a new movie called The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Nothing is confirmed, but maybe he will be able to redeem himself by playing himself. I mean, like, how do you mess that up? 
But if anyone's gonna find a way to mess that up, it's gonna be Nicolas Cage. Swiping spot number six is Mike Myers. He produced two of the most iconic characters in comedy movies, Wayne Campbell from Wayne's World and Austin Powers. He also booked the role of Shrek, so he had a load of success in that franchise, but after he ventured out of his three hit franchises, things pretty much started to go downhill. He took on the movie The Love Guru in 2008, which he actually co-wrote and co-produced, but it completely bombed. So later in 2013, he turned to directing, which he actually had some success with. He has made his way back onto the screen, but only has a couple of credits in the last four years. And it was actually rumored that he might be coming back for an Austin Powers 4. However, nothing is confirmed. I personally feel like that could be the one thing that gives him a second chance. Or it'll completely ruin everything. Have I threw at number five is Renee Zellweger. It has been over 20 years since she had us at Hello. For many years, she solidified her spot as an A-list celebrity, and in the 2000s, she was all over our big screen. But in the past decade, she kind of disappeared from Hollywood without an explanation why. She ended up explaining her decision to leave the spotlight, saying that she suffered from imposter syndrome. That is a chronic self-doubt that overrides any feeling of success. And she was very successful. She made her first big return appearance in 2014 and got criticized for how different her face looked after her plastic surgery procedures, which she says was another reason why she continued her hiatus. But in 2019, she made her first big comeback, starring on the TV series What If and taking the lead in the movie Judy. It's hard to tell if this will be a big enough comeback for her after all the damage she did by leaving the industry all those years, but I did see the Judy trailer and it looks pretty good. I actually really want to see it. I had no idea that she could sing. Cruising into spot number four is Nick Cannon. He was on top of the world when he was married to Mariah Carey and hosting full time on the hit TV series, America's Got Talent. But his career has never been the same since 2017 when he announced that he was leaving the job after a disagreement with NBC about some jokes that he made regarding the network. NBC claims that some of his jokes were a breach of contract and so they fired him. Then Nick, like every other celebrity does when they get fired, went on a Facebook rant saying that it actually had nothing to do with the jokes and that it was, I quote, just another way to silence and control an outspoken voice who often battles the establishment. So it is pretty obvious that there's more to the story and we won't really know what actually went on behind the scenes. However, he lost one of the biggest successes in his career. And the third spot is Shia LaBeouf. He returned to Hollywood in 2019, and although we don't know if he's back for good, we could never forget the whole career breakdown that caused him to leave in the first place. People stopped hiring him because his off-screen behavior was just too much of a liability. He was acting erratic and got in trouble with the law on a few different occasions. In 2014, he was charged with disorderly conduct during a cabaret performance, and then in 2017, he was arrested for public intoxication and obstruction. Video footage actually actually service online showing him cursing at the police officer and using racial slurs. Plus, when he did show up to events, he wore a paper bag on his head that said, I'm not famous anymore. He was on a career high after his Transformers movie success and his work with the musician Sia. So I'm personally interested to see if he is going to be able to pull this comeback off. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Taking over number two is Catherine Zeta-Jones. She was wildly popular in the early 2000s, taking home the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in Chicago. But over the past decade, her career dwindled away and according to Catherine, it's because of her age. She spoke out on the issue during an interview and said, I quote, it's not that there aren't great stories to be told about women in their 40s, it's just that the big bosses in Hollywood feel that the demographic of moviegoers are less interested. During the years of 2014 to 2016, she had zero credits to her name. Since then, she did book a small role in the TV series called Feud and a role on the series Queen America, but neither of them have put her back in the spotlight like she once was. Some people online have blamed it on the fact that she took that break from Hollywood. However, she was doing it to focus on her health and had some marriage problems. It just seemed to do more harm than good. It's almost like her career just never recovered from it, which is sad, and I actually wish that she wasn't on this list. All right, guys, we made it to number one, and we have Morocco Omari. He was praised for his role on the TV show Empire, but lost it all when he was arrested in April 2017 after a 24 year old woman told police officers that he had pushed her to the ground during an argument, leaving her with bad scratches on her neck and chest. He ended up going to a two day trial and his character was immediately killed off the show. The actor denied the allegations and said that anyone who knows him knows that he would never raise his hand to a woman. He was charged with misdemeanor domestic battery and his reputation, let alone his career, has just never been the same. We still don't know the whole story though, so it 
it is hard to say if he truly destroyed his own career or if she did, like if she's making the whole thing up. That is a big debate online, so. Who really knows? All right guys, that is all I have for you. That is our part three list. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share your thoughts with me down in the comments. While you're doing that, let's check out some comments from part two. Steve G says, I wonder if the inmates, <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I wonder if the inmates give Cosby some pudding. <laughs> One has to wonder that. I mean, would you guys share your pudding with Bill Cosby in prison? Probably not. I'm gonna keep my pudding to myself. Tiona says, why anyone would ever want to be famous? Well, for the money and the attention. Kim Wu says, I have high hopes for you. Also, you will own YouTube. I see it. Ooh, I would love to own YouTube. <laughs> Whatever that means, sign me up. Poor Scottish girl says, did you jump ship? This is hella similar to IO. Everyone keeps saying that. We are one company. We're actually sister channels. That is what's happening there. All right, guys, I am getting out of here. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Help us get to 100K. We are almost there. But for now, just enjoy these bloopers. I don't. Even, I didn't even know who this man was. Mark my words. I'm gonna get sick. Probably. Cause I get sick. I had to emphasize on that flap that I went over my words. I'm gonna chew my nose. And drug paraphernalia. That is not the word. Insert her mugshot, please. Are you really early? What's happening? I'm really early. Oh, I was like, whoa. I am like not even close. But over the past decade, her this train. Yeah, I thought so.